she's Kayla, I'm Chris, and then, I mean, we're together, it's, she just so happened to be white, I just so happened to be black. Well, Chris and I met working MSU sports camps. We were both, like, camp assistants, and um, right away we hit it off, and then he ended up transferring, and he kept saying, oh, like, you need to just come to Easter, and, like, I don't do long-distance relationships. And next thing you know, not only are we in a relationship, but he's transferring back to Michigan State. So it really worked out perfectly for us. Yes, um, I think we both come from, like, <laughs> pretty extreme, like the, she's like from Gaylord and I'm like from Detroit. So <laughs> we kinda, and it's kinda interesting too, like how Gaylord and Detroit would like work together. They approve, um, they love Kayla. Only thing my mom asked me, she just asked how her parents were with me. She was just worried if I was being treated differently. They don't have a worry for it as long as we're happy. I just want you to be careful, not because of anything with him, just not wanting me to face discrimination or us to face discrimination or if we get married for our kids to face discrimination. So they just want everything to be okay for me. There aren't a lot of race, racial problems in Gaylord, but that's because there aren't a lot of races in Gaylord. Pretty much 99% white. And so while there isn't, while there isn't like obvious racism, you can't really tell because a lot of people there have never even interacted with people that aren't white. Why are you with that white girl or something like that? I'd be like, give us a look. Sometimes there'd be like a little smile. It's kind of like a approval. But others, you can tell they're thinking like, uh, why she's with him or why is he with her or something like that. Certain black guys on my like floor, freshman, sophomore year, saying like that they would never like actually be in a relationship with a white girl. And I think those guys are, I don't know that they're necessarily in the majority because now I have friends of all different races of, all different kinds of relationships but they said these specific guys really stuck in my mind and so I was kind of hesitant um, just like okay is he actually trying to like go somewhere with this or is he just looking for something else because if it's just something else then that's not gonna happen with me I don't really like that type of stuff especially like racism prejudice discriminatory type stuff I kind of respond um, negatively to that so I would like stare back and like, look, it's like, is there a problem? You know what I mean? Um, but one time she told me, she was like, you know what, just let it go. They're probably just looking at us because they think we're beautiful or something. Like <laughs> and like, for me, it just like changed my whole perspective. It never bothered me, but the only thing that bothered me was the idea that like, it might bother him. So in the beginning, I would be like, oh, these people are telling you like, oh, why are you with the white girl? Is that gonna change your mind or like make you not want to be in this relationship uh, no, dummy. <laughs> or anything like that so that was my only question i just think interacting with people of different races and having relationships in general whether it's this kind of relationship or just the friendship just is so beneficial and i feel bad for anyone who has friends that are all from the same backgrounds because i just think that sounds boring <laughs> he's actually biracial um I don't know if you can really tell. <laughs>